All right, let me get my, there we go. All right, now, I would like to touch on, uh, I would like to touch on restraining orders. A lot of people are in the situation, specifically uh, fathers, uh, but also mothers too, and just, you know, boyfriend, girlfriend. And, uh, you know, a little bit about myself, you know, I like to, drop a little, you know, a little bit about myself before I go into a topic because of my, you know, history. Um, I am in a situation where my baby mama has a restraining order on me. Now, um, the reason why I, uh, the reason why I'm saying it in such a serious way is because the, hold on. See if I can make this. There we go. Ah, no. There we go. All right, because like you know, I'm trying to get that whole uh, that look people be doing. Uh, all right. Here we go. Here we go. All right. Now, um, one thing I want to touch on is with the restraining orders, uh, whether it's woman or man, you know, uh, you know, uh, father of the, the, the baby mama or the mother of the baby daddy. Um, the one thing that, that the police has always tried to deter, one thing that attorneys specifically pool attorneys always try to deter uh, me pressing charges, uh, me uh, 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 because because it's it's a very dirty game. The restraining order game is a very a very, very dirty game. and there's little to do about it because the first thing that they say is, well why did you pick up the phone? Well, I mean, number one, what if there's an emergency without my kid? You know, number one, number two, and then after after that, it's like it's like they they and then and then and then you start getting your kids back in your life, and you know everything's going good, and it's like well, I got my kids back in my life, everything's going good. You know, I've been clean for a while, and it's it's really just heartbreaking that that um that you know like women do this or men do this you know they use kids as chess pieces not that isn't love you don't love your children if you use them as a chess piece you may think you love them you may love having them but in reality is it really love Regardless, neither here nor there. Um, but one thing I also I got to uh, uh, bring up topic. Uh, I'll bring on the topic of uh, you know even though it sounds off topic, but it has everything to do with it. Okay, um, burglary. Burglary is entering a structure with the intent to do a crime. Everybody thinks burglary is actually stealing something. The reason why there's, there's this confusion of burglary is stealing something inside of a house. No, it's not. It's entering a structure with the intent to commit a crime or when a crime was done, specifically theft. Um, you know, or let's say uh, there's people that, uh, you know, uh, where their girlfriend or boyfriend, where they enter the house and they get into a domestic dispute, but they didn't live there and then they get a burglary charge. And then if, it's a, if they have a weapon, that's a second degree burglary charge in the state of New Jersey, that is. But neither here nor there, what I'm trying to say is there's things that run hand in hand, you know, uh, 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 you know, when I tried to talk to the police department, they said, oh, well, you want to file harassment charges? No. Also, on top of the harassment charge that she's harassing me with is also I want to file criminal solicitation. Criminal solicitation basically means that uh, somebody is trying to entice you or enticed you into committing a crime, specifically breaking a restraining order, which means that, you know, they used, you know, love, kids, uh, you know, 
the same thing goes with the harassment. It runs hand in hand. It's just not a double jeopardy. It's running hand in hand. So, um, you know, and and also another uh, little jewel that I'm gonna drop on you, but that's a whole nother video. But I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna, I'm gonna mention this. Um, if somebody uses a, uh, you know, somebody manipulates your mind, it's called and and you don't you don't have no control over it that means that you lacked mens rea a lack of mens rea means lacking the mental capability or the mental the mental judgment this is a jewel that a lot of attorneys don't want to bark up this is a jewel that a lot of judges really frown upon this is a jewel that prosecutors hate when you bring it up and i've used i've used lack of mens rea for a, uh, a seatbelt ticket, <laughs> one seatbelt ticket, uh, a uh, uh, a burglary, <laughs> and uh, so on. There, lack of mens rea, and I believe there's like two other things, but I can't really think of them right now uh, because I'm so you know this is the first time I'm actually going on camera and doing this whole thing, so I'm a little nervous. So uh, yeah, uh, so where they manipulated you into committing this crime and in, in, in a way you lacked mens rea. You lacked the mental capability out of manipulation, manipulation of the mind, the heart, so on and so forth. So, um, so, uh, you know, I would really like to, uh, uh, you know, you know, uh, uh, advocate that people People, uh, keep this in mind, and remember, you are your, you know, you know, my, uh, my girlfriend said it this, uh, this, uh, this weekend, she said, you need to be your own advocate, and by being your own advocate is don't, listen, Immortal Technique said it the best. It's not the inmates, it's the lawyers scheming to fuck you. These lawyers don't want to do a whole bunch of extra paperwork. These cops don't want to do a whole bunch of extra paperwork. If you're a local celebrity with the police, they're not going to help you. They're going to make it sound like, oh, no, you can't do that by law. I'm a cop. You don't think I know the law? No, you don't. You don't. <laughs> No, you you're you're just as bad as a criminal. So, um, without further ado, I would like to show proof and evidence of uh, the the uh, oh hold on one moment though proof and evidence of this uh, of this uh, you know because you know what, let me start with with uh being all right let me go back to the whole uh your own advocate thing um when you when you're in family court there's a big chance that you might be forced to be pro se because of financial difficulty but sometimes you get a pool attorney um and also this is referencing a uh an indiana case law and this indiana case law when you're in a certain jurisdiction, you can't use case law that is not within its jurisdiction. Sometimes, this is called uh, a persuasive authority, uh, or the use of persuasive authority. It said it right here. There's a mandatory authority and the role of persuasive authority. Um, mandatory authority is case law that's in precedent, that's within your jurisdiction, within your state, within you know, whatever, you know, uh, district, whatever it is. Um, you have that. And then you have, uh, you know, but a lot of people don't realize is that there's published and unpublished case law. Um, unpublished case law doesn't mean that it ain't in the books. Unpublished case law means that it is, you can't use it within a court that's before appellate. You can only use unpublished case law in appellate court. So, with that, 
you know, when you're talking about this role of persuasive authority, this is, for example, if you're in New Jersey, wherever, this is where you try to bring up the uh, the uh, Melissa Patterson versus State of Indiana. Uh, in this case of first impression, the in- Indiana Court of Appeals ruled Indiana General Assembly was d- deliberate when it did not criminalize the violation of protective order by the protected person. The CAO in Melissa Patterson versus State of Indiana reversed and remanded the trial's court denial of motion to dismiss two counts of aiding, inducing, or cause invasion of privacy as a Class A misdemeanor. Melissa Patterson obtained a no-contact order against her fiancé, Gregory Darden, following an incident of domestic battery. Twice after Patterson was founded with Darden and was arrested for violation, violating a, the no-contact order, she argued that the trial court erred in denying her motion to dismiss the charge of aiding, inducing, or causing the invasion of privacy because of the legis- legislature did not intend for IC whatever numbers to criminalize the conduct of a protected person under the no contact order in question. The CEO holding Indiana statute does not criminalize a protected person's actions that invite or accuse us in the violation of the no contact order by the subject. The bottom line is that our General Assembly has made it abundantly clear that it recognized the possibility that orders intended to protect persons from domestic violence are issued in setting in which the protected person might ha- might invite the subject of the order to enter the forbidden zone and thus violating the order. Judge Ezra Fredlitter wrote, It's failure to criminalize activity that in two separate incidents it recognized might invite a violation of the order must be viewed not as an omission but as determination that subjects should not be criminalized. Judge Rudolph Ply the third descended contending that plain language that the statute permits the pr- prosecution of a protected person who deliberately helps another disobey a court order for protection. While the majority policy position may, in fact, be cons- 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 whatever that word is, with the General Assembly's intent, I believe it should be left for legislative branch to explicitly exclude the prosecution of protective, protected persons, he wrote. So, that would be the solicitation. So, um, try, so when you're in this situation, when they say, why did you pick up the phone? You ask, why isn't she charged? Because she gets the equal punishment that you get for that kind of crime. You know, it, it it really hurts my heart because as much faith... See, the thing is, the legal system works in theory because not everybody is going to do the right thing. When I mean not everybody, not everybody. Um, where... It's just sad that you got things presented and people take no kind of authority when they are in the authority to uh, 
prosecute and to protect a person that really just been manipulated, you know? Um, so be your own advocate. Show this to your attorney. Now, again, when we talk about this, the persuasive uh, authority, you know, you, you, if you can't bring this up, you know, and it is not, appeal it. If they don't. Um, an, another thing is uh, go down to your local prosecutor's office and, uh, or your county's prosecutor's office and get the paperwork to file these charges if an officer won't, you know, um, because then now it's a civil, you know, it, it's like a civil but criminal complaint where this is the way you go around the officer. Um, you know, this is, this is, uh, you know, there's a very, uh, you know, because you shouldn't, you should not be the only one getting in trouble in these instances. See, it's not like a violations, uh, a restraining orders only go one way unless if you get a restraining order against them. You understand? So my men and women who are in these situations, I really hope that you enjoyed this video. Um, you know, uh, and I really hope that that put a whole lot better light into possible situations where you may be manipulated or you might be fighting this kind of uh, charge. Um, you know, also, uh, you know, I'm going to be dropping another video on Black Women's Rea. Please, uh, you know, like and subscribe because I because I I I'm bringing all the jewels. You know, like good jewels. So, just please. You know, stay safe, stay calm, and if you need anything, let me know. Contact me, message me. Uh, I started a new group, uh, the American Brutality Press, on Facebook. You know, I, that would be an easier way to contact me, and I'll help you. You know, any way, shape, form I can. You know, because that's the only way I get by in life is helping people. And that's all I want to do. I want to help people from being oppressed. You know, uh, my name, my name is, uh, you know, people call me Wali. And the name means protector in Arabic. There's a reason why my name is Wali. Is because I like to be the protector of mankind. So, you got any questions? Let me know. I'll happily answer them. If I can. Stay safe, y'all.